Justin Timberlake really got his ass out and served us some mayonnaise music with a side of crackers. Girl, let's go and get it to this King of Reeds TV video. Y'all already know what time it is. I got the black bean neck on. What's going on, y'all? Of course, better late than never. That's what they say. Y'all got to forgive me. But as I already told y'all, y'all want to hear my first response and everything I had to say about the Super Bowl performance and everything else that carried on this week, you should have been checking out For The Culture Podcast on ForTheCulturePodcast.com. That's where all the information is at. That's where all the shit, like, make sure y'all checking it out. We already know that this last episode of For The Culture Podcast was named M -M -M Mayonnaise Music because Justin Timberlake gave us that with a side of crackers on the side. No extra uh, fat, no nothing. We didn't have no sizzling burgers, no nothing. He didn't even give us mayonnaise on a burger. Not even mayonnaise, you know, tuna fish sandwich. It was just straight mayonnaise and crackers. No substance. Um, the Super Bowl performance, um, halftime show, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what two teams even played. Um, the whole Super Bowl performance of Justin Timberlake was dry. Um, a lot of things that carried on. Uh, Miss Sheila had said that um, Mr. Prince ain't going to be doing no hologram type of situation because that's what Prince did not want. He didn't want anybody to come out and um, do this demonic type of shit. He didn't want that. Y'all know that Prince was a Jehovah Witness. He did not believe in none of that, and I don't blame him. The girl, don't raise me for the dead. But you all know Prince and Justin Timberlake were not on the best um, page anyway. You know, Justin Timberlake had came out with uh, bringing sexy back. Prince said sexy never left. Justin Timberlake responded with some shade on a song or two. But you don't shade the Prince. Prince did what he had to do. He, he, like, he's an artist. He's he's he is that talented individual without appropriating or trying to appreciate anyone's culture. Um, Justin Timberlake, he did. He ain't even from Memphis, Tennessee. His ass is from Millington, Tennessee, out of straight out of Crockerville. Okay, Crockers. Okay, Crockers in the woods. Justin Timberlake's performance did not move anything. He barely moved his knees and shit. He was moving around like mayonnaise was stuck in his goddamn leggings, and he just was trying to do the stank leg. And could he even hit one B? Just garbage. I felt like I was watching a Trolls movie and I was being trolled. The whole thing garbage. Then you had the nerve to throw Prince up, not in a hologram, but on a Bin Laden sheet. That was un-American, that was foolish, and it was stupid as hell. And you gave us that lackluster ass performance. Low fat. Um, it was tasting like hummus, and I don't even like hummus. It was a mixture of hummus and guacamole. It was just too healthy to the point that, bitch, I didn't want to eat that shit. And I'm trying to live a healthy diet. But I don't want no whiteness because that's straight up bleach and I ain't interested. But ba bleach ass music. Yeah. But girl, it's a food. So we talked about that. Let's talk about the white folks who were tearing up shit after their team won a loss. And oh, you know, people on Fox News were saying, well, you know, they're just, they're celebrating. They're just super excited. We all know when um, certain people do certain things, it's, you know, they might have a mental, mental disorder. They might have this going on. They're super excited. But when black people are activating and reaching out and doing all type of work to bring awareness on black bodies being shot in the streets and shit, um, like, girl, it's, it's like they're actually doing something for somebody's life. And they tearing up shit to get attention. And because y'all hoes out here fucking up the shit and they got to fuck up the shit too to get y'all attention because that's just how shit works and then y'all label them as thugs but we already know how that is we already know when white people do certain things you know they can do all types of stuff like and it's just like oh girl they didn't mean nothing they just they were trigger happy or something girl it's a mess don't really care let's talk about some other white ass news Kylie Jenner is uh, releasing her photos or pictures and videos of her being pregnant. The Kardashians have enough black DNA that any black person that's trying to figure out where they're coming from, you don't have to go to Ancestry or you know, DNA.com. Just go to the Kardashians house. I'm pretty sure they got y'all bottles somewhere to be to injecting themselves and get pregnant. Travis Scott, I think he didn't want to get her pregnant or something. Um, I just, I don't see how any black man is interested in dating any Kardashian. As far as I'm concerned, you are a raccoon in hiding. And I just need you to make you just two black streaks on your face. Any black person that's dating a Kardashian, you automatically are in the sunken place and you are sacrificing yourself, your DNA, your very existence, everything just to be sucked up in a, 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 a cup of nothingness and that's just what it is. I don't support any black man that's with the Kardashians. I don't like the Kardashians. I'm not here for their ass. I don't want to hear this bullshit about, oh, they built a brand. Oh, girl, white person can do anything with a couple of hundred dollars and then y'all just want to just praise their ass. Look at Donald Trump. Bitch, he ain't did shit. White folks, you creating a business and sustaining a platform. That ain't no damn work. You already had the 
the game already. So, girl, move along with that dumb, dumb ass shit. The, the, the dumb ass music, bitch. I ain't interested in that silly shit. But the Kardashians are trash. We already know that. Kylie Jenner said, oh my gosh, I just want you all to know that I did not want to put my baby, uh, Mayo, or whatever her baby's name is. I didn't want her to put it all in all that or him or her. I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to be exclusive. And uh, girl, we know what you're going to do. You're going to keep it very close and then you're going to sell it to a network for some money. Secrets out. Girl, I don't have whiteness out. I don't have time for this shit. But you still ass as individuals. Talking about well, they're all man. They're not this and that. They're white. We've already talked about this. So we already understand how the Kardashians have built their uh, empire off the backs and the uh, basis of black men's penises. So that's just what the T is. Ain't no debate in that shit. Straight facts, hope. But I'm tired of talking about them because as I talk about them, I'm starting to feel like I'm being blah, 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 bleached to death. Like, so let's move on to the next topic. Ron Porter, let's talk about a little bit more whiteness. Ron Porter over at the White House. Girl, the White House said, girl, we don't care about y'all white women. We don't, girl, screw the Me Too movement. If y'all are not understanding white women, working white women, non-educated white women, and educated white women, the administration that we have in right now, they are not concerned with you all. But you know what? Some of you all are okay with that. If this administration was to come out right now said we're taking away women's rights to vote. I think some of you all said, well, as um, long as the black folks can't vote too, we good. Thanks. So y'all rather to just sacrifice yourself for the greater good for a white man. It's okay. The administration has already told us this. We've had several, several women come forward about allegations on a whole bunch of um, people around the White House and nothing's been done. The senator or whatever that was in Alabama, these women came forward and said that this man did this to me and they didn't want to believe it. Donald Trump still supported this person. Now we have uh, Ron Porter, who is a uh, White House aide, and he's supposed to be handling classified information, could not even get an FBI clearance, could not even get a security clearance, a secret clearance, okay? Could not get any of that because he had allegations of women, um, his ex-wives and ex-girlfriends saying, hey, this man abused me. And then there was pictures and everything. And then we got people like General Kelly. If there's anything I don't like, it's a white man in the military. They are some of the worst, okay? He said, oh, child, we, we, you know, we ain't concerned about their bases. They didn't weren't concerned about him until the picture came out. And one of the ex-wives of this White House aide, Ron Porter, um, basically came out and, um, you know, said that here's the picture and he took it himself, so what's the tea? And they said, okay, let's backtrack. And Donald Trump's response was, um, we wish him well and this and that. Let me tell you something. No chin ass secretary, uh, press secretary Sam just didn't even bring her ass out there. They sent some pee on ass um, Indian guy out there and said, girl, go ahead and talk about that because that would have been trash optics wise for a woman to come out and answer questions about that. That would have been trash for a woman to sit up here and deny another woman of, uh, you know, allegations of abuse. That would have been trash. So they sent the, you know, they sent the next peon. And I don't see how these people don't see that. It's just, maybe they're playing the game. Maybe they're doing some infiltration type of bullshit. Um, you know, Ron Porter has resigned. I don't know how many people that's made that in, the, in the last year that have um, resigned from the White House. Every month there's something else. The White House trying to get a handle of this shit. It's just strange up garbage. I'm not surprised. It's caucasity. We should know that. White folks ain't shit. Y'all see this every day. And I want white people to understand that when I say that, I'm talking about the people that you need to be talking to, okay? I want you to be touched in your spirit right now as a white individual. I want you to feel some type of way about me making these conversations and saying these things to be able to tap your neighbor. Tap your white ass neighbor and tell them to get their shit together, okay? I know y'all don't know because y'all be in church for 15, 20 minutes and y'all credit scores be still in the 800s. But I need you to use your privilege to check somebody else's privilege because I can only do so much, okay? I ain't asking you to come to my rallies and shit. I'm asking you to shake shit up at home because that's where the shit starts at. We still have individuals who are old and I need to fall out who still, who still think like this. And these white ass Christians and stuff are okay with Donald Trump doing this paying a porn star off and all this type of stuff. They don't care because at the end of the day, some of these white Christians are okay with Donald Trump doing all this type of shit because you know why? At the end of the day, a lot of this shit that we, you know, read a lot of stuff is built off of white supremacy so it's just like girl as long as the black folks are less than and as long as the white man is in power i don't give a damn what rules are in place i just read a tweet yesterday of a photo of this um slave bible and they took out several passages about freedom and everything out of it. and it was a slave's bible like white people took that shit out and said girl no you don't need to know about this shit you need to know about this so that's all i got that's all i'm gonna talk about there. i'm gonna let you decide decipher and figure out what it is 
because that's a hot ass mess. Quincy Jones is one foot inside the grave and one foot on the goddamn banana peel and he got plenty of time today before he's ass slide on in them of it. Quincy Jones, the person behind Michael Jackson, whatever you want to call him, um, just a musician, whatever you want to call him, very talented individual, had plenty of time. He did an interview and he just spilled all the tea. He said Michael Jackson was a thief. He was out here stealing shit and recreating shit. Um, no wonder Beyonce idolizes him so much. I cannot, I cannot. <laughs> Girl, that explains a lot, but Michael Jackson was a thief. Um, then he, you know, spilled tea about Richard Pryor um, and Richard Pryor sleeping with men and doing this and that. Now, there's even a video of Richard Pryor joking about it. So, Richard Pryor joked about it. Quincy Jones said this and that. He said they were fucking somebody laying. I think his name was Marlo Brando. Some white man. Um, he was an actor back in the day. And they said everybody was smashing him. Um, James Baldwin. Girl, they have plenty of people that said that James Baldwin was smashing in the, um, the white folks and stuff. That's a lot of that going on even now. That's a lot of conversation. There are a lot of people who speak so much about white supremacy and white people da, 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 but they somehow end up in a whole relationship uh, with a white person so I don't um, I'm not knocking and saying I don't believe in interracial relationships but I think that some people speak so much on it because they're trying to hide something and how they feel and they're trying to make their blackness be heard by speaking against that but even though they want to and they kind of conflict it and I don't think that you know you choose I think you follow in love with whatever the universe puts out there but it kind of is kind of funny how you speak extra, extra, extra mean on this shit, but you still be bouncing on the pink pain. Ain't not, nothing wrong with it, because I find a white man that's interested in dealing with my crazy ass, I'm going to skip to my loo right on to his crocker ass, okay? It's still alive! <laughs> Let me just stop playing. Probably not. So I want to know what y'all think about Quincy Jones. Was it right? Quincy Jones out of everybody. I wasn't too sure how to feel about that because I'm never really supportive of a person outing somebody, uh, especially someone who's not able to defend themselves. And I just don't think it's never the right time to out people. I know I have been guilty of doing something like that in the past, and it's just not right because you just don't know what type of mental space that person is in. So just let them do that on their own time, no matter how problematic and trash they are. Let them come out on their own time. Don't do that because we need to be having a conversation conversation about why do we have to stay in the closet. We got to keep our eyes on the prize. Last but not least, we got a couple of things to talk about on the prayer list. We got Christamina Brown on the prayer list. Christamina Brown took to Twitter and said, hey, um, I think we should do a two versus two tour. We need to do a Beyonce, Rihanna tour, and I need to do a Bruno Mars tour, and we need to make it happen. Um, girl, I guess both of y'all gonna be doing coke together in the back of the goddamn van. Maybe that will happen, girl. That'll be cute for y'all, honey. C -c 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 cocaine music. Why would you even ask Rihanna? Why would you even put Rihanna? Like, nine years ago, you, um, physically assaulted her. Like, we... Don't bring her name up. Let her come to you. Let her forgive you, but we're not interested and you continuously bringing this woman name in the end. Like, let her go. Because she's probably not healed completely from that and she probably never will. Um, and I just leave her alone, Chris Brown. Like, I don't give a damn about you being talented. I'm not interested. And people say, well, he's talented and he this and that. No. The only person I'm interested in hearing about that is the victim. And that was Rihanna. I'm not interested in um, Chris Brown being there. He cannot do that. When he did that, he was unable to bring this woman name up ever again. Okay? And even me talking about that, too. Donald Trump had put a tweet up and he even said that if Rihanna chooses Chris Brown, um, she, he, she might as well be signing her death warrant. And then you're not even believing women. Not. And in this movement, we are listening to women first because that's important. I made mention to this several, several times after hearing a woman um, on the grapevine, which we will be on next week. Um, I can't I can't wait for that. Um, and then one of the black women has said, listen to women. Listen to women to understand, not listen to respond, okay? And I've just been taking that and like absorbing it because it's important because I feel like a lot of men don't listen. They're just so quick to respond and stuff instead of listening. And that's the movement we in now. Like, listen, because sometimes when these women, majority of the time, when these women are, you know, facing issues or something, they're speaking from a, a, a place of truth. And then men are just not listening to them and they're invalidating their experience or whatever situations they've been in. I have a friend that's going through something like that right now, and I feel for her. I feel terrible because I feel like that she makes a decision, you know, it might cost her career, but she's clearly being um, mistreated because of her gender, because she is a woman. So it just makes me so angry, and I just I just don't know how to feel. But um, Chris Brown, shut your mouth. So we're going to end with a little side of mayonnaise, a little bit, maybe an aioli or something. Logan Paul, I just want you to shut the fuck up. Logan Paul, 
Um, this is a special shout out to you. I just found out not too long ago that YouTube has pulled all your ass off your videos after you taste a rat. White people, why stop white YouTubers 2018? Um, they're always you know, causing problems. They're always doing it. And everything, anything that YouTube be hitting us like, girl, this is what y'all doing. It's always the white YouTubers, but y'all always trying to hand them out awards and shit every goddamn year. That's why I'm not interested in none of that YouTube bullshit. Y'all can kick, kick, kiss my ass with that white ass mediocrity that y'all got going on. But be wishing me and Adrian a successful trip leaving out Tuesday to head to New York. We're so excited to be a part of all these podcasts and stuff that we're going to be recording with. We will let you all know and try to do like a little vlog. I know I hate doing those, but make sure y'all follow us on all social media. Make sure you're following the Further Culture Podcast on Instagram, Twitter, and um, all the other shit. And I will talk to y'all later on tonight. Make sure y'all have a good evening, and I'll talk to y'all dusty hoes tomorrow. Come here! Destroy the altar. Now cut off this demon leg. Cut it off! Stop it off!